Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to our live. I am Heather, and we come to you live each and every day, Monday through Thursday, so you can learn more about Luminous. Now, we won't be here this Thursday due to the holiday, our Thanksgiving holiday, but hey, we're here today and tomorrow. So this is a great opportunity for you to get to know Luminous, ask questions as we go along, if there's something you want to see, if there's something uh, you've heard about, but you haven't seen um, being done, or maybe you have something and you're like, I have no idea how to use this. This is the place for you so you can learn how to use it. Hello. Good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Martin. So <clears throat> we are, we always like to get started showing our kits and we always, we I show one and then we'll talk about the different ones. They all come with what you're going to see pictured. However, depending on when you ordered it, now that we have Black Friday coming up, um, you may have um, received free gifts or maybe you could purchase something at a discounted rate, but they're all going to have what I'm showing you in just a few minutes. Good morning, Muzette. So good to see you. So let's look at that real quick. This is our Icon starter kit. We also have the Icon Pro and the Legend. And of course, we have the Breeze, which is our cordless and chargeable one. Good morning, Kay. Good to see you. Um, and it comes with the two bottles of foundation, love and blush, but the love you might not use every single day, but you will love it. It's going to give your skin some luminosity, um, give that young youthful glow. Um, and then the blush is super high pigmented, meaning it is going to bloom. You only need about two drops. If you use more than that, you're going to look crazy. Um, so only use about two drops. You can also put the blush on first. And that way, if you do get blush happy, you're putting the foundation on over it. And so it's going to um, blend it softer for you. And so that is, I'll do that first too, uh, just to give you an idea. Let me grab one in here. Okay. Um, and then we give you some instructions. There we go. Uh, right here, this is what we want you to do. When you get your system, I want you to make sure you are keeping it four finger widths away. When you turn on the system, there's air that comes out. You can see it lightly blowing my hair. And so you're you're just going to move that stylus around, making sure you feel that air. So I'm going to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, and you're always going to keep it four finger widths away. Now, this is something you will want to watch yourself in the mirror to do because two things would happen. You're either going to go like this because there's air blowing at you, or you're going to come in closer because you're used to touching your face. And so the other thing is barely pull back on this trigger. It's like beep, barely guys. Airbrushing is different than traditional makeup. So make sure you're applying it differently. If it feels wet, sticky, or you see it going on too much. You're going to need to pull back less on that trigger, okay? Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Donna. So good to see you. Luminous, good to see you. Make sure I said hi to everybody. Kay, is this your first time? I'm trying to think if the name sounds familiar to me. Normally, I remember. No, not always. <laughs> but I'm glad everybody's here today. Hopefully, we have a lot of people on that are thinking of purchasing maybe for Black Friday um, and you're interested in getting it. So hopefully this is um, a good way to experience. Okay, how long have you been airbrushing? Um, hopefully this is a good way to experience, see it being done. Hello, Zandra. See it being done. And then that way um, you're ahead of the game before you get it. So we are going to do lashes today. Um, and, you know, lashes, oh, over here, awesome, you're an expert, I bet. Um, lashes, and I'm going to use the Lash Lore, um, because between the wings and, la and Lash Lore, I feel like the magnetic lashes are easier to put on if you're a newbie. Um, it makes it, um, it makes it easier to apply just because our, the two-in-one smart adhesive has the magnetic properties in it and it has glue in it. So you get the two for one. Nirvana, have you never used the product? Do you have the product? 
Are you one of those who purchased and never used it? Uh, we do have some of those uh, because we know that that happens. Um, okay is one. She's only used it a few times. Um, and that's the one thing, like, when I hear, and guys who have been airbrushing for a while, they'll attest to this. Um, okay, I'm so sorry. I hope you're better, baby. Um, when people get the product, they they see the infomercial and they're like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, and then when they get it, they don't get it out to use it. Um, you have to get it out to use it. It's not going to make you look younger sitting in the box. It's not going to help your skin sitting in the box. It's not going to speed up your getting ready time sitting in the box. Now, at first, I'm very upfront when I do these saying that, good morning, Lori, uh, that there is a learning curve because you've been doing traditional makeup up until this point, And now, I'm telling you, hey, you're going to keep this stylist moving, blowing on, and you don't even want to see it go on. It should almost appear like magic where it's just like, is it? she's crazy. I don't think anything's coming out. And then, bam, you look amazing. And so there are ways. Now, also, ladies who are interested or have it and haven't used it or only used it a few times and need um, some extra help, we do offer classes. So in the description whether you're on facebook or youtube look for um the link to book a class you can book a class it's a small group class where you get that one-on-one -on -one time and i can go into a little more details on how to use it and how it clicks in your brain like oh okay now i get it now i get it um and so don't base um well nevada stay tuned because i'm about to start airbrushing okay um, but, and then you can also book a class, even if you haven't ordered it yet, you can book a class and we can go into more details of like, I can tell you what shades to order, what kit to order. I can tell you how to get started once it's there. I can tell you all of that. And so, but just make, don't base your conclusion on the first time you use it because chances are you're putting it on like traditional makeup. Okay. I'm just very, very, and I'm not saying, Oh, use this for six months and you'll be an expert. No. I'm saying do what I tell you as far as those practices, do it a couple of times and you'll have it down. Honestly, I promise anybody, if you can hold a pin, you can airbrush. And exactly Musette, Musette's like, uh, there are 1500 videos on Luminesis page for, that is true. And I think they're all of me. Um, so hopefully you don't mind my talking. Um, all right. So now let's go ahead and get started. Um, hold on. I think I saw. Uh, Zandra, use velvet veil with your fingers. With your fingers. You're going to put velvet veil on. I usually take, there is a dropper in here. I take the dropper out and I do this with my finger and then I put it on that way. Um, a little bit goes a long way. Slide it on, tap it into place and you're done. But you will put that on. Do not blow that through the machine. That's put on with your fingers. What's the difference? Okay, Lori asked a good question. Uh, Lori asked, what's the difference between eraser? <laughs> now I get, and then Lori put this question and then she goes, sorry, good morning. <laughs> I appreciate that, Lori. Um, what is the difference between eraser X out concealer and airbrush CC concealer? So how you listed it out is how the intensity of coverage. Eraser only comes in one shade and it's good for redness. It's good to, you know, lightly cover. Maybe you need some extra pre-help to cut, get things covered. The next step up is X out. It's made for Xing out dark circles. However, you can like, don't switch back and forth. Either pick eraser, pick X out or pick the CC concealer, depending on your coverage. I'm a big one and done kind of thing. Like I want to use as less products to make less time and to look extremely flawless. Okay. We don't have time to, you know, like we watch YouTube and we see all these women, these uh, people doing makeup for an hour and a half. Girl, I'd rather sleep. 
or have some coffee. Like I want to get ready fast, early or fast and, you know, like, okay, all this less time. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I will use, let's see you. Um, uh, where is, do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? Hold on. I'll use the CC concealer. I think it's back here. <laughs> oh, here's XL. I'll use XL. Pam's like, Velvet Veil is awesome. Yes, it is. Velvet Veil, my mom wants in like 55 gallon drills. A little bit goes a long way. Don't re once you apply it on an area, don't go over that area again. It that is the one and done. All right. So taking my this is the X out. X out comes in, I think, two, I think only two colors right now. Um, so I'm gonna shake it up. Shake it like a Polaroid. Always, always, always shake up your product. Even if it's foundation that you use every single day, you still want to shake it up because there will be settling. I'll show you some. I used Glow yesterday. And this is how, let's see if you can see it. See how it settles? See the separation there? Because it's water and mineral based. So you do want to shake it up. Some things are going to require a little more shaking. A little more. You might have to shake it up a little bit more if you don't use it every single day. Um, our luminizers, the ones that are going to give you shine, you'll definitely want to shake that up. Oh, thank you. I need to get my hair done. All right. So now I have my, I'm using the breeze. <clears throat> and now I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. I make my movement first, then lightly pull back. And then as soon as it's coming out, I move my stylus. Okay. When you're airbrushing, there's overlap, there's overlap, but you're never going to be in one spot twice. Even though I'm moving it back and forth, I'm not moving. I'm just staying right there. You're always going to move it. Now, am I going to want more coverage under my eyes and on my lids? Yes but I'm going to go back. I can do my lids real quick. I can go back and make some more passes. Now, when you're practicing, you can practice with water. You can put water in here and start airbrushing water on your face. <clears throat> Things that you'll want to start listening for is you'll be able to hear it come out. You'll be able to hear when it's a dry sound and you're empty. So those are things that you're going to start picking up on that are going to become very obvious to you. Oh, so, Laurie, it's, it's on coverage. So eraser, one color, light. <clears throat> so if you don't have a lot to cover, just need a little extra help, eraser. X out, step up. Get two shades. It's a step up in coverage. Um, so dark circles, things like that. CC concealers are a step that's the highest in coverage. So if you feel like you need ultimate coverage, then the CC concealers are going to be what you want. They come in five shades. <clears throat> to give you an example, I use the light beige. If I was going to go to a CC concealer, I would use the light beige. <clears throat> Sorry. It so it just depends on the coverage that you want. There are times I can use eraser. If I just want to kind of even out, blah, 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 throw some, I'm done. There are times I'm going to use X out. There are times I'm going to use CC concealer, but I'm not going to use them at the same time. You're going to pick one. Okay. That's what I love about airbrush makeup is because it can be what you want it to be for that day. If I want light dusting coverage, like bleep, it can be that for me. If I want full knockout, drag out, full, flawless, not a thing showing, it can be that for me. So you're in control over all that. And those, the um, eraser, X out and CC concealer, those are the steps in coverage. Does that make sense, Lori? Ah, oh, Martin likes award show. Yeah, that is a very popular color. 
So I'm using X out not only underneath my eyes and on my lids because my lids are darker, but I'm using it. on other areas that I have some flaws. I know I have some sunspots here that I'm going to go in and cover. And there you go. Um, oh, you're waiting on the matte bronzer. I I have to be careful. <laughs> um, I think, hold on, let me actually look. Um, our sales change on Wednesday normally, but they are doing, yeah, they're doing an early Black Friday for the Breeze, which is definitely something you want uh, if you want to try the new system. Um, hold on, let me go in here and see what else. um yeah some of our black friday deals are happening you guys but i know some things will change a little bit probably but they're already some good deals so um so you might want to wait till black friday or i mean i don't i don't honestly i don't think you can go wrong either way um, cause you know, now the theme across the board, as far as retail and, and online is like black Friday starts like last Friday. I mean, you know how things just start going on sale immediately. Um, they don't always tell me the sales because I tend to let the cat out of the bag. Um, in fact, I'm shooting, I'm going to shoot some videos, uh, for black Friday and they wouldn't give me the products yet because <laughs> they're like you're gonna say something i know they're i mean like seriously you really can't go wrong you really can't all right so now i'm shaking up my soft rose blush we gotta get through this i need to put lashes on still and yes i'm putting my blush on first i'm putting my drops two drops of soft rose blush and I'm going to put my blush on first in case I get blush happy. I know that I can blend it with the foundation. So when I go in to do the blush, I'm going to come into about three fingers because I'm going to focus just on my cheeks. Now, thank you, Luminous. Luminous just uh, did the link for our sales. So notice that I'm just focusing right there. When you're practicing that distance, when I'm telling you to move that stylus around and practice the distance, guys, you're going to see that you can feel the air. So wherever the air is, is where the makeup goes, right? So that's, I know exactly, I'll move this back. I know exactly where that blush is going because I can feel the air on my cheeks. All right. See how pretty that is? But also notice that it's going to bloom a bit. It is going to come up a bit. So now I can take my, where did it go? Okay, shade three. Shade three in the rose. I love the rose because it is medium to full coverage. Plus, I love that it has um, a um, it has a Bulgarian rose, which is good for your skin. It helps with pore reduction. It smells divine. But I I jump back and forth between silk and rose. All right, so now. I'm just going and making passes, keeping my stylus moving. Notice I'm not in a rush. I'm not hurrying. It's 
So I'm going back and forth and just keep going. And I put about five drops in there, but I didn't need that much. Why? Cause I already got a lot of coverage. I got some of my pre coverage with the C or with the um, X out. Then I got coverage with my blush because anything that has color in it has a pigment in it. It's going to give me coverage uh, or some sort of coverage. Now let's we'll go in and do a little bit of contouring and I'm using the cut one and just right underneath that blush. Doing it right there. Now, you know, I love my shine. I love my shimmer. Um, and normally I use the optics palette or a luminizer, but I'm going to, today I'm going to use one of these. Now you can use this first. So you could put it on with your hands and boop, 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 because this is a, like a creamy, um, highlighter. Um, or you do it before and airbrush over it. It still will show. Or if you want, if you're like, oh, I wanted to use that. And I forgot about it and want to do it after just go in. And what am I going to do with that? See how I made those little boop, 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 boop. What am I going to do? Tap it out. So I can just tap that into place. I don't want to rub. Exactly. Tap it out. I don't want to rub because I don't want it to rub into the foundation. So tap it out. Tap it out. I love y'all all have it. We need to come up with our tap it out song. And you can just tap that into place. Ba, 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 ba. Might even have a little on my nose. Ooh, I may have got a little bit too much on my nose. Have my Cupid's bow. Tap it all over. Tap it all over. All right. So now let's do eyes. So I'm going to take our nude and note and the matte. I'm going to do a shade. Where am I looking for? What am I looking for? Uh-oh, 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 did I lose y'all? I don't know if you can still hear me. Uh-oh. Can y'all still hear me or see me? Let me go check. I don't know if y'all can see or hear me. <laughs> Let's see. I might have to go. My screen just totally went out. Hold on. I'm going to go to Facebook on my phone. And see. Okay. Y'all can still see me. Okay. So if you're on YouTube, I can't see you. Um, Okay. All right. Let's, this is going to be fun. Good times. Good times. Okay. <laughs> so if you're on YouTube and you have questions, um, 
I'll go back and look at those and answer. Um, I don't even know if I can see the comments. Okay, I can just stand it up that way. Okay, we're gonna do this. <laughs> I can't see any anything. So now we're gonna. I'm just put this mirror right in front of me now because I can't see. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with. Um, Oh, see, that's, I'm like scared to go in here because I'm afraid I'll, okay, I'm going to go in with a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go, let me see if I have a lighter one of these. Okay. I think I'm, I'm going to go to the nude palette and, um, okay. Everybody can still see in here. That's good. Okay. Hey, Marilyn, I just saw you. Um, I'm going to go in with Desert and Straw. They're the lightest ones in the nude palette. And I'm going to put this on my lid. And these are mattes. So when you have, if you have more wrinkles and crinkles on the inside, you can use a matte. Remember that shimmer acts like airport runway lights. It's going to draw attention. It's going to like be like, hey, look at me, look at me. So if you want to lighten, use something light on your eyes to make sure it's matte. Now you can pick where you want your shimmer. Now I'm not saying you don't, don't use shimmer. I'm just saying watch where you use it. So if I wanted to come in and do a little bit of shimmer, right at that eyebrow, like right there. You can do that. Okay. I am going to go in and fix this brow real quick. Got a little bit on. I did it with my brush and not the airbrush. I was more precise with the airbrush. <laughs> All right. So I did light here. And then very, um, I'm going to do very muted because I want to show you one, um, um, Martin, I can't all, all the, um, guys, if I miss your questions, I'm not seeing on my phone, I'm not seeing them all the time. They go away after a bit. So if I don't answer, don't be mad. I just can't see all of them. Okay. So now I'm going, we know we're going to do lashes. So lashes themselves will dress up a look, right? I, you've seen that How, mascara dresses up a look. So I can still go light. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to do lashes with just smoky eyes. You can do lashes with a very neutral light eye. I'm going to go in. I think I'm still going to use, I'm going to use a uh, cave or what? Let me see if I have a, I'll use cave in the nude palette as well. And just right here. Oh, I like Cindy says she often uses radiance compact on the gilded for a highlighter. I like that. I really like our compacts. I love the, I love the blush. I love the, the bronzers. I, they're really great. Our powder, if you haven't had a chance, definitely get those. The, the translucent powder. Because we know that it looks good. Even if you powder, if you're normally shiny, if you need to touch up during the day, as far as like matte, you know, get powdered. Powder beforehand will really help control. Now the velvet veil. Number one will control your, um, um, your shine and that controls shine extremely well. Um, and then you wouldn't have to use powder because that will control it all throughout the day. Uh, Jeannie, you're right. It definitely the Marilyn Monroe look when you're doing very light, very neutral eye. I'm the cave is a little bit mobby. And then if I got it where I was like, no, I wanted less than that, I can still go over it and you can kind of blend that out. 
with I'm going over it with the light color if I wanted to soften that look a little bit more. If I got a little eyeshadow happy. I'm just going to blend this right here. And I'm just blending so I don't have any harsh lines. And where it all looks seamless. Oh no, Marilyn. I'm so sorry. That's awful. All right. So, and this time I'm not even going to do liner on the bottom. Very light. Something looks funky right here. Hold on. And guys, if you have like hooded eyes or you're like, I don't know if I can blend, you can always go in and do this, like lift it up. If you need, if you need to just you lightly use a finger, boop, pop that bad boy up and it makes it a little bit easier to blend if you need to. Remember when you're blending, you do not have to um, blend hard. Uh, it's very soft, very, you know, like you didn't see my, all my skin moving or anything like that. It's very soft. All right. So now last time we did this, so I want to, I'm going to do it again. So everybody sees it because a lot of people are like, Oh, I don't know if I can use the lash floor, uh, to put that, the glue on. Cause it, it just, you're just going to go whoop right around the eye. But what I've seen, uh, some people do is they'll take their eyeliner and I'm going to use this mirror and line the eye first. I don't know, you know, people are used to putting on eyeliner or they're more comfortable putting on the eyeliner. And so when it comes to the glue, they might get nervous. They're like, Oh, I don't know if I can do it. What happens if you do this, you can line the eye and then go over it in the glue because you, then you, then you have a path to follow. So I'm taking the black persuasion soft blending does make it look more natural for sure. And then if I wanted to, I could go and I can even cut this part out. Hold on. I don't, hold on. I don't know if I can do it with this hand. <laughs> you know, when you do eyeliner, it's always better on one eye. And you have to make this video. Now I can do it on this eye. And I'm just tickling right at the lash line. And that did not go as well. Cause I'm catching my wrinkles, I'm catching my wrinkles and crinkles. So let me show you how to fix. So if I totally screw that up, which that looks like, it kind of looks like a whale. I can go in and I just took a wipe. I'm wrapping it around a brush. And go in and kind of, I'm almost tapping it out, guys. Okay, tapping it out, tap it out. I'm going to go back and do a little bit of this to kind of cover up that part. Okay. And then now, because this, what this is going to do is give you like a kind of that exact line to get it out. And then I can go back. and do it that way. Okay. Might have to fix that bad boy a little bit more, but we'll do it in a minute. So 
Now, all I have to do is line with the two in one smart adhesive. I'm going to line just end to end. I don't have to worry about the cat out part. And I'm just going right on top of the liner. So if you like the fact that it gives you kind of a go to, you might want to try doing liner, doing the liner first. And then I'm just making sure to get it on the ends because if that's you know with me that's where if they're going to pop that's where they pop and so i make sure to really get it on the the inside and the outside and then now i can grab the lash and i like the natural lash too because i like all of them but the natural lashes give you the fullness in the middle and so i'm going to put it in my holder my set holder right here and place it just like that so you definitely want to make sure that it gets to the end because it's more important to match at the end then up here. And see how like that just pops on. And then I can go back and make sure that that one's in. Bam. Bam, bada, bam, bam, bam. So I'm going in and I'm fixing, I'm fixing. <laughs> That's a Texas thing, right? I'm not digging that. So let's go ahead and just fix it. I actually now have it wrapped around a Q-tip. So it does give me a little more precision than the end of a brush because it's a little bit smaller. And so I'm going and clean that up. Fix that. Let's blend a little bit more here. If I had to wipe that off a little bit. Okay. Now let's try to fix it again. Oop. Let me do one other thing here. I also feel like if these don't stick at first, they're a lot easier to correct. I mean, I love the wings because I, I, the wings, once they're on, they're on. But if for some reason, like it's lifting or anything like that, I feel like the two-in-one smart adhesive in Lash Lord is a little bit easier. If I needed to add more glue there, I can do that. And I'm pretty sure you can do it with the wings as well. Oh, let's get this going. I'm making this one a little bit different. Okay. Woo. That was stressing me out. All right. And of course, I'm going in. But see how, like, that makes such a difference. It makes such a difference. And they really do pop on. I mean, and I'm just now going in and kind of making sure that they're on. And I'm good. Like, I don't have to really do anything else with them. You don't have to reline because you already have the, the liner and the glue on. And then now I'm going to go in with my dusty rose. Lining the outside. I did put this on today. Um, before leaving 
because it's honestly it's a good neutral color and I line right above my lip not I don't there's not space I'm lining on the top part of my lip to make my lips look fuller I'm also not accentuating my cupid's bow as much because that gives a poutier look if you want fuller looking lips that's what you'll want to do like so and my staple you know what i'm gonna so i'm gonna use um i think this is it yeah loyal thank you veronica so when doing like shimmers or highlights or mattes you can control how much shimmer you don't want everything shimmer because then you're going to look like a disco ball so that's definitely not something we want and so definitely take a look at it um and see where you want your shimmer um you can control that you don't have to be everywhere when it comes to that um when it comes to the shimmer so relax on the shimmer part um you know like i said shimmer does act like airport runway lights so depending on your face you can control okay well i don't have a lot of wrinkles here so i can put shimmer there or what do i want to draw attention to and so that's something you can kind of take a look again you can always do something different before you take your makeup off for the night that way you find out if you like it or not right you can find out hey okay i do like this i didn't think i would i mean how many times have y'all heard me say Okay, I'm going to try this color. Don't like it. You know, it's not something I'm going to like. And then it ends up being my favorite color. <laughs> and so you can wear any color. Don't be afraid of colors. You can deepen a color. You can lighten a color. Just because, I mean, because of our stuff is so pigmented, you you can keep blending. Just I think it was Jeannie who said, if you keep blending, it looks more natural. Um, and that's something that's uh, definitely true because you can intensify it or blend it out. So all right guys we're done for the day um my issue is i don't know how i'm gonna get, <laughs> how i'm gonna hang up on this live since i don't have a screen so i'm gonna open up my computer to see if that's gonna work okay that worked oh oh lord i didn't know what to do okay <laughs> all right guys Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Veronica. Oh, Marilyn's like, we say fixing in Georgia as well. I love that. What I'm cooking for, I am doing green beans. I do this cranberry blend. It's like a dessert. It's amazing. Like a cranberry sauce, but it's oh, so yummy. I'll take pictures and send it. Um, and then what else am I doing? Oh, mashed potatoes. There you go. That's what I have to fix. All right, guys. I will see you. Thanks for being so patient with me today. Sorry about the mix, mix up. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.